Shane Doherty joins us now with breaking news on a police officer charged. Shane, what's he accused of? 11 counts, Andrew, of indecent treatment of a child and another of rape. The 46-year-old constable appears in court tomorrow. This on the very day that the Triple C, the Crime and Corruption Commission, works talks about a new law that would stop us from reporting investigations into the police and politicians until the Triple C says it's OK. You and I are not going to see eye to eye. He's Queensland's chief corruption buster, suggesting we keep corruption a secret. If it has no merit, it will never see the light of day, and that's appropriate. Campbell Newman, kiss my... And I will certainly bend over. The Triple C is fed up being used as ammo, especially in election campaigns, where opponents accuse each other of just about anything, and by the time the Triple C clears them, it's too late. If it has merit, we'll investigate it and uh, bring the offender to, uh, to justice. Police too complain they're judged all the time. Mud will always stick and can destroy an officer and their families and the damage can be irreparable. What if the Triple C says it was illegal to show any of it until after the charges approved? That would prevent, for instance, uh, the news media collecting and publicising to anyone uh, CCTV and mobile device footage of events. Journalists say the laws are an attack on freedom and we can tell the difference between wrong and real. There was a recent election where a leading politician was subject to an enormous tirade of accusations and won in a landslide. The corruption buster says we should butt out and let the pros handle this. If they're not corrupt and it's a malicious complaint, why should their reputation be put in jeopardy? Shane Doherty, Nine News.